thanks for coming to my channel today. I'm Rebecca Robeson with Robeson Design, and I'm going to show you how I took this living room from this and turned it into this. I love this detail. I feel like that's one you've been wanting to do. It is. If you are interested in learning more about how to design your own space, I have a program called the Design Sessions, and I have been talking about it for a while now, and I'm gonna keep on talking about it because it is the best thing I've ever done. We are going to have the next design session. Guess what it's gonna be on? Fall decorating. Yes, how to fall in love with your home. Cute name, huh? I kinda liked it. Be sure to check out the Design Sessions at ropesanddesign.com. All right. Let's get on with today's makeover. Here I stand in the entryway, and I have two beautiful lamps flanked on either side of me, and one of our client's original paintings. Nicole made us six inch legs so that we could raise it up. You know, one of the things that we do at Robeson Design is we always have an install, and there are various reasons why. Take, for example, the entry piece. I loved this piece with a live edge. It was absolutely gorgeous. But when it came in and they placed it in that entryway, it looked so low, the proportion was all off. I got Nicole, who's not only a great faux finish artist, but she is a welder. And she made me some custom legs to add to the bottom of that credenza, lifting it six inches off the ground. Now this area was a living room of sorts, but it was a little awkward before. We had some huge columns, which we have now replaced, but in this little niche that just was drywall before, I designed a beautiful chocolate stained built-in. And you'll notice in this built-in, one of my signature things with my built-ins, I light every single shelf. I think a lot of designers, when they are doing their projects, they have the lighting put in ahead of time because they wouldn't want that in the middle of their install. For me, I like it during the install, and I'll tell you why. I like to be able to determine the height of where a chandelier or a, a sconce or any kind of fixture should hang, and I'm not going to know that until I see the furniture that's going underneath of it. But while the girls are sitting here having a glass of wine, you know what the guys could be doing? Playing pool in the billiard room. A nice uh, pool table that the clients previously owned. We kept it and then we put in this amazing avenue lighting chandelier. I don't know, kind of a, I don't know, balls going in different directions kind of thing. Get it? Balls going in different pockets. Got it. Does that painting look familiar to you? If it does, leave me a comment below and let me know where you've seen it before. Yeah. Then we have these beautiful linen gray bar stools. Now I have to give a shout out to Janae at the customer service department at Williams Sonoma. These little puppies were not here until about an hour ago. And I'm gonna tell you this, she went through hell and high water to make sure that we had them for our reveal tonight. Awesome Janae, keep up the great work. Let me show you the bar. This used to be a linen closet. We built in a brand new dry bar here with great storage below that pulls out. This is incredible stone back here in a ledger pattern. All right, into the powder room. The wallpaper looked amazing, but once it got in, I noticed something I had never noticed before. This big white, like seriously this big, how do you get rid of it? You paint it the same color as the wall. I call these fry riglets, but then we found out that they're really called rye friglets. The bottom line is they're an architectural detail of wood along the sides of the walls that break things up. And in my opinion, I thought that that on either side would come in really nicely with the wood vanity that I had made. Kind of just draws your eye up and completes the entire space.
So what do you think? Do you like how this living room, pool table room, and did you notice I threw in there the bar and the powder room? Mm only because I love you. If you liked it, let me know. Give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. I can't wait to tell you and show you all the things that are just around the corner because you know what's happening? Yep, the holidays. So join us for the design sessions coming up just next week. Honestly, you're going to hear everything you need to know about how to decorate for the fall and the holidays and Christmas and it's just around the corner. Coming faster like a locomotive. That's what I have to say. A locomotive. Thank you.